de, de muita importância né, no, no meu país e na minha criação. Né, a gente sempre jogou muito na rua. Através do, 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 nosso, do talento que Deus nos deu, a gente procura levar né, as crianças para o caminho do esporte, para o caminho do futebol. I'm Gundy, I'm an ex-youth worker, and I started The Last Stand. The Last Stand is a street football tournament that unites communities, using the power of football to inspire young people from challenging backgrounds. Everyone needs that spotlight, everyone needs that platform to show what they can do. When these people have that sense of achievement, it's like a domino effect for them to achieve greater things in life. We need to grow, we need to be bigger, take it to the level where we kind of dream or aspire to be. I'm about to visit Amsterdam, Paris and Berlin to meet some of the street football legends, people that have had real impact in their own communities. And to be honest, I think street football is on the rise in the UK and I'm hoping that meeting some of the people that started and shaped the movement will give me some amazing insights to take back home. The thing on the street is you'll run into all types of persons. Some will confront you with aggression, how are you going to react? But the ball makes it a game. 30% des joueurs, ils ont commencé forcément, le, forcément par le street football. C'est l'ADN même du football en fait. Was alles erreicht habe, was kommt zum Anfang, habe ich einfach Ball genommen und einfach in die Straße gespielt. Also ich kann mir ein Leben ohne Straßenfußball nicht vorstellen. Ja, hat ganz eigenen, ähm, ganz eigenes Leben entwickelt. Der Straßenfußball. Amsterdam culture, you have the, the real Dutch Amsterdam culture. Then you have to take into account influence from Suriname, Morocco and Turkey. If you talk about street soccer, the names like Aka or Pana or Surinamese words. Amsterdam had a lot of street footballers. I started filming a lot of these guys. Nowadays you can call it influencer, you know, back then it was like blogging. The exposure it gave those kids made them believe, like, listen, my talent has purpose, you know, I can achieve something with it. If you don't have a goal in life, and that's where the troubles begin. So once I started playing street football and I saw I had a future in it, I suddenly had a goal. And that made a big difference, so I changed my life. I stopped doing crime and I stopped playing on the streets more often. I try to help out other people. And when people see you try to put in effort, they want to help you. Edward van Geels, when I first saw him, I was like, okay, he's the guy who breaks legs, you know? Everybody there, you know, was like, whoa, this dude is crazy. Spicy one or the mouth? Which one's good? They're both good, yeah. To start the whole Pana thing, why did it got so big? It has to do with Jermaine Farnenberg. You know, Jermaine Farnenberg was a nephew of Gerald Farnenberg, who played with Kruijff together. So the name Farnenberg was already associated with skills. This guy created a game of nutmegging people, scoring goals, winning tournaments, and he fascinated everyone with it. I invented the Pana knockout the game. And a Pana is a word from Suriname. If you have like a Pana, a real, the real Pana knockout is playing a ball between a player's leg and you gotta have the ball, that's a Pana. A street football, the first stage, you know, coming to a new country is the street, by the people, for the people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that the camp, man? Bro, how are you? How are you doing? No, I play futsal, I play pana, I play street soccer. Alles was was mit mit Fußball zu tun, das ist gehört mir. Hört mir nach auf bald. In Deutschland sind wir definitiv die ersten, die angefangen haben, Jugendliche in den Straßenfußball mit einzuintegrieren. Wir versuchen diese Vorbilder zu sein auf der, im, im Bereich von Straßenfußball, damit die die Perspektiven sehen und die Optionen sehen. Ich komme so aus Libyen. Wir gehen Krieg in Libyen und so. Ich mich entscheiden wegzugehen. Wo bin ich lange geblieben? Dann werde ich es äh, tot. Ja, ich, ich sehe Leute in der Straße und dann manchmal ich frage 
wer ist die Beste von euch, wer ist die Stärkste? Ja, ihr spielt die Mannschaft und sagt, okay, wenn du gegen mich gewinnst, dann kriegst du so 50 Euro. Gar keiner hat mich, äh, hat, hat geschafft, mich zu tun. Ja, der Aspekt, dass viele Straßenfußballer auch einen Migrationshintergrund haben, ist insofern interessant, dass äh, jeder, der eine andere Herkunft hat, auch ähm, quasi neue Perspektiven reinbringen kann. Und das ist interessant, das im Straßenfußball zu sehen, wie neue Styles entstehen, neue Skills entstehen. Ähm, ja, also wenn es einen Einfluss hat, dann einen guten. Äh, geh in Neukölln, in Kreuzberg, in Wedding, egal wo, in Berlin, auf dem, auf dem Bolzplatz ähm, und nimm Ball mit und du wirst sehen, ähm, dass, dass viele Nationalitäten miteinander Fußball spielen, ohne dass sie die gleiche Sprache sprechen. Fußball ist eine gemeinsame Sprache, auf jeden Fall. Ja. I don't speak a single word of French, neither these kids speak a single word of English. We've been able to communicate and like breaking the barrier down. Can I play on your team? Paris, dans sa construction, en gros, pour t'expliquer, c'est qu'il y a un grand stade à chaque porte de Paris. Et dans chaque quartier, que ce soit en banlieue, ou dans Paris, tu as toujours un, un, un city stade au pied de la tour. Les vraies équipes, ils viennent des banlieues. Il y a des équipes dans 93, dans 77, dans 78, 91, 92. I guess everyone, street player, everyone's dream is to play well, on side. professional. Yes. yes, yes. But let's imagine in street football, if you could have stadiums, And you can have the money, the fame, the cars, the glory. They will never play at 11. Yeah, yes. you know, that's yes. what I think, because yes. you can, it's street football, it's free. Yes. No one is telling you what to do, you're free. Le fait qu'il y ait des joueurs comme Mbappé et d'autres qui reviennent, comme Marez, qui reviennent sur leur terrain, dans leur quartier, bien entendu que c'est super important. Parce qu'il ne faut jamais oublier, oublier d'où l'on vient. Tu as vu, moi j'ai commencé là où tu étais, et regarde où est-ce que tu peux terminer. Alors pour me présenter, donc, je m'appelle Ferrat, je suis directeur technique d'un club de foot, donc le Paris Alésia qui se trouve ici même, où j'ai à ma charge 800 licenciés et 60 éducateurs. En quoi c'est important d'investir dans la jeunesse Pour la simple et bonne raison qu que c'est les citoyens de demain. Aujourd'hui, chaque enfant qu'on forme, c'est l'homme de demain. Si on lui donne des bonnes valeurs, une bonne éducation à travers le sport, il peut devenir qu'une bonne personne. Forcément, pour des gamins euh, qui n'ont pas forcément de repères, qui ont des difficultés euh, sociaux à la maison, etc., bah, ça devient le, le, le lieu sur lequel ils font leur premier pas. Et, euh, et du coup, euh, le street football, c'est là où il débute. Children have a lot of peer pressure. They got a more problems than we can think of. Once you pick up the ball, start juggling, your mind is free. You don't think about your troubles. Creating that environment for children is so important. What we used to do is find pitches within apartment buildings. So when we started playing and putting on the music, everybody was sitting on the balconies, barbecuing, and they were looking down, and we had our own stadium. This one is au cœur. Il est au cœur du quartier. C'est un terrain de rencontre, c'est un terrain de foot. Euh, tout se passe sur le terrain. En fait. In Libyen, wir haben nur Street Soccer. Unser Tour wird mit manchmal mit klein mit Holz, manchmal mit Stein, so mit Raton, egal was mit. All the cages you see were built after the street players created this whole city. So they started building things like this, you know, for the kids. Okay, they like the cages, we build the cages. Ich fühle mich wie zu Hause. Also ich bin nicht hergeboren, aber es ist Berlin. So es spielt eine große Rolle in meinem Leben. Ich bin ein Berliner, auf jeden Fall. Le score il a son importance, mais si on joue dix fois, on va plus retenir les scores. On va oublier le score, on va l'oublier. Par contre, tous les gestes qui se sont passés durant les dix rencontres, ça la personne peut oublier. When I was nine, ten, you know, I was bouncing the ball off the wall with tears in my eyes because things that happened in the house, and now I'm on top of the world. 
It's amazing what's happening in Amsterdam, Berlin and Paris. Groundbreakers like Fairhat, Team Chameleon, Jermaine, Edward Van Gils and Ahmed. They're pushing this sport into new, new spaces, pushing the boundaries. And it makes you want to be like, you know what? I want to be part of this scene. It's made me realize why I started The Last Stand in the first place is to bring joy back to people's life. You don't need to be something special, but you can become special on the pitch. And that's the magic of street football. For the players.